Hi there, Daniel from Cycler here, and today we're going to be looking at using webhooks to connect Pipedrive with Cycler and pretty much any application you want. Um, so what we're going to do here is we're going to be using a uh, Cycler generic webhook connector. Um, so what I'd say to do first is if you go down on your sidebar down here, scroll to the bottom, and we're going to add it as a new connector. So even if you have it installed, we're going to look to install a fresh one especially for this. So you can see that is here and you get the option to name it. So what we're going to do in this example is we're going to be creating a webhook that's triggered anytime a deal is added to pipe drive. So we'll call it pipe drive deal added and click on next and that will be available down here in the sidebar here we go so if we now open that up and we've got the webhook here drag that onto the builder what that will do is you th you're then presented with this uh, webhook URL so click on this and now we're going to go over to your pipe drive to set it up from that end so in pipe drive you need to go to settings and the first thing you'll see on the side here is webhooks so click on that and this is where you can create your own webhooks and tell it what data you want triggered. Uh, so here's what an example that we already have set up. For this one, we're going to go create new webhook. And the action, we are going to want it to, to trigger when something new is added. And that something is the event is going to be deal. So yeah, anytime a new deal is added, this URL here that we are going to paste in from the webhook in from the cycler builder, which is that, will be called. So what we do is save that. So that's set up. So now what we want to do is cycler can actually dynamically find the fields so you can map it to other steps. So you can see where it says waiting for generic webhook here. What you want to do is leave that up, open your pipe drive again into a pipeline and add a deal. All it's going to be is a test deal. It doesn't really matter what it is. But what we're doing is we're triggering the webhook um, to pull in the fields. Once this is done once, you don't need to do it again. So we just got a test one here. So there we go, that's been added. And if we go back to the cycler builder, you'll see in the corner, receive webhook fields. So now you'll be able to actually map them dynamically to whichever process you want. So what we're going to do for this example is let's just get a decision step down here, connect that up and open. So what you see here is now we've opened, we've connected the webhook, all the fields that have just been brought in from Pipedrive are now available. So you can use these any way you want. There's a, there's a lot here. So there's a lot of possibilities. I mean, typically for, for the example we're going to use, we're going to be using the ID, which will be the deal ID. So we can pull that deal in, um, then we can add activities to it. Um, we could assign it to a user. There's lots of ways of automating pipe drive just through using, using these webhooks and the existing connectors. Just as a reminder, you've got these, all these different methods available to you. So adding activities could be could be a key one. Or using the logic steps. It's all down to you. But please have a play. Let us know what you can create because we really want to see what, what people are making. And yeah, have a great day.